Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And we are here today to answer a very important question. I know you guys have all been dying to know. <laughs> Can you DIY a mood ring? Yeah. We grew up as 90s kids and these mood rings were everywhere. Everywhere. And now that the 90s are back, we're wondering, can we DIY them? We were like, oh, we should actually have one to wear for this video and then it turns out we couldn't even find one. So this is even more important. <laughs> more important. So today we are working with Google's Making and Science team to go meet a very fun scientist who's gonna help us understand if it's even possible to DIY these things. So let's head over to the lab to find out if we can DIY our mood rings. Okay, so I'm here with Lisa, who's the lab director at Action Potential Lab. I want to make a mood ring. Can you tell me if that's possible? So basically, thermochromic liquid crystals, that's what makes mood rings. Okay. They're also used in thermometers and other kinds of home devices. It's pretty neat in that it can tell the temperature visually. So we bought these online and so I think this isn't actually the chemical that it in mood rings. This is like a paper version of it, correct? So how does that work? So how it works is actually there's these things called micro encapsulated crystals. For instance, if these were the crystals, mm -hmm. uh, if they were just stagnant, they would be showing the color black and stable. But if they started to warm up, they would shift and change and those crystals would start to reflect light ah. in the space between the crystals. Okay. And that's how you get these different colors happening. And it's been actually um, micro encapsulated. So not only that, it's been coated and protected and then mixed with a bunch of other materials so that it can be printed on all different kinds of cool novelty things like this paper and mood rings. These are manufactured um, elements and it uses a lot of intense technology and tools so it's not so easy to DIY this kind of material straight from the earth. I can't just go for a walk in the woods and find these crystals like in a cave or something. Not so much, <laughs> not really these color changing ones. Okay, so we're back in our studio now and we have our thermochromic liquid crystal sheets that we're gonna try to DIY some stuff out of. We also got some like epoxy stickers, so like clear sticky fronts, a jewelry backing that you can put it into, some cord, we're thinking of making like some necklaces and chokers. Um, because the key thing is here, it has to be touching your skin. Like even if we do a necklace that hangs down here, our body heat probably isn't gonna affect the thermochromic liquid crystals unless the actual temperature that you're in changes. So like going from outside to inside, then you're gonna see a change in color. So we didn't grab a base of a ring because we couldn't find any that were thin enough that we knew the mood ring could actually work through it. And I think now looking back in the 90s, they didn't even work when they were sitting on your skin. You had to like warm it up. It didn't even work because it was touching your skin. Anyways, well should we start with a choker? Is this too big of a choker? So because we got these amazing epoxy stickers, I'm just gonna stick one of these on here and then cut it out. And this actually has a sticky backing, so psh, psh, it's already so easy. I'm gonna stick the appropriate sized epoxy cover gem thing. Get out all the bubbles. And you guys can see that it's actually working. Let's cut this. Take off the sticky backing and plop it inside our little thing here. And it immediately turned black. So obviously it's not feeling the warmth of my skin anymore. Although, look, it is going through. That's awesome. We're just taking some cord and putting it on. Vibes? Oh. Vibes? Yeah, it actually looks really cool. Very oh Victorian. my gosh. So exciting, guys. Okay, so let's see what else we can make with these. I love how you can just cut them up and use them. So that was so much fun and I learned so much. I, like, what? Like they, this little like 90s fashion trend is so much more complex than I ever knew. <laughs> what? This actually turned out better than I thought because I know that the thermochromic uh, liquid crystal sheets do react to your skin and they change color, but I didn't think that they would when they were put in like a base, so like that necklace base. Mm -hmm. I thought that the metal, you know, wouldn't really conduct, but since it does conduct heat, um, it was able to change color. So if you had a ring base, 
Yeah, you could, it, we would work as long as it wasn't too thick and you didn't maybe have too much glue that was like ruining the conduction between the metal and the thermochromic liquid crystal sheet. So it turns out you kind of sort of can DIY mood ring. Oh my god. But you can't really DIY the crystals that come in the paper. Science. What? Science, yeah. But we will <laughs> definitely link below where we got our thermochromic mm -hmm. liquid crystal sheets so that you guys, if you want to experiment with this, you can. They weren't too much. I think they were between like five and ten dollars. Yes just the shipping that gets you every time. <laughs> so thank you so much to Google's Making and Science team for encouraging us to learn about this and buy these crazy crystals online because I never would have without that. <laughs> no. And make sure you guys, if you're interested in stuff like this, make sure you keep watching science videos. There's so many on YouTube. You know mm -hmm. these niches that you find in YouTube and you're like, wait, what is this world? I'm opening it up. Thanks for learning with us, watching this video, and if you like it, make sure that you like it. If you love it, make sure you sub it, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye!